nerves. Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. I'm Torche with Black Girl Nerds. Thank you guys so much for doing this interview. Um, watched the movie and got my life. Thank you for that amazing artistry. At just a couple questions, how much research did you put into that? I mean, I, I know typically people don't do like a lot of research. It's not necessary, but did you do We needed to, yeah, absolutely, there? because of the fact that I never learned this in school. Yeah. You know, I never heard about this rebellion. Did you guys know about this before we took... I That's the thing. It was no. a part of history that has not been discussed. So yeah. I had to do a tremendous amount of research just to know exactly the context of what happened in this particular story. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I mean, also as well, it, I mean, it's, it's the whole era as well, and uh, in particular what built up to this happening um, was very important uh, because, you know, the film comes in at a certain point, but right. I, for myself, was looking at what built to that, you know? Exactly. I don't think you have any actor in this movie who um, knew who was directing it um, and knew the subject matter who didn't do their research. This is very clear when you walk into this room, come prepared, um, because you, you know, we weren't just making something for entertainment here. It was something that was bigger than um, everybody in it, and I think everybody was very acutely aware of that. There's so much respect for that, um, especially with you playing Congressman Conyers, because that's has he has such a plays such a pivotal role, especially with de in Detroit. So um, to know that you played him and you did that much research is, I know that the people of Detroit will just be very grateful. Both of you, um, your roles in this movie were, let me just say. <laughs> right. right. You're ready. Buckle in. You're looking at me. We can't oh, save you, brother. <laughs> you on your own. No, come on. <laughs> no, no, no. But um, you played you played the role beautifully, and um, hopefully beautifully. Nobody Thank you. Me. Hopefully nobody stops you on the street. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but I'm um, doing that research, and how did you pull that? out of you and it not make you feel a different type of way inside and have to, you know, interact with your coworkers? Yeah, uh, that's a good question. It, look, the biggest thing uh, I've got to say with, with what we were doing in the motel was building that uh, relationship and that, that trust, uh, you know, between not just, well, between everybody. Um, it was the most important thing, simply so that, you know, we, there, it was very defined what the differentiation was. Right. Um, so in particular with the, with, with the really physical and aggressive stuff, there was almost like a contract, you know, we would all enter into, which is like, this is what we're doing, you know, sort of thing like that. Um, you need to feel safe, uh, sort of thing like that. But I guess as well, I mean, everybody, the entire cast in this film is really awesome. So... You do your bit, but then you get out of it and you get to hang out with these really cool people, which kind of gets rid of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Right. They, that they sense? did say um, some of It's an acting term. They, <laughs> they, yeah. It feels like a brotherhood. I just, I guess I was concerned in watching you portray this person on film that, you know, I, I wouldn't expect, oh, that guy, that's who he is. I, w I wouldn't think that, but I guess as an actor, I would hope that this doesn't, you don't go home and. Oh, I, I don't Keep bring it. any of it home. Or, no, I don't just the, the feeling bad about, like watching this later, feeling, feeling bad about this. Yeah, you got I, what I'm saying? Yeah, I do, I do. I think a really cool thing, uh, just to go back on the contract, was we all sort of realized and recognized and knew we're, we're all making this for the right reasons and for the same reason. Um, so that kind of really did help. I mean, yeah, there are moments, and, and there was a lot of it, where you do feel pretty shitty about what you're doing, but you are reminded by the people you're working with um, that we're doing it for the right reasons. It's, you know, you, you have to be unapologetic. You have to be, you know, this unadulterated, this sort of, you know, there's no winking at the camera going, how naughty is what we're doing? You know, it's like... It has to make people feel uncomfortable, so we do something about it. it and that was something we all 
agreed upon. We yeah. wouldn't have been able to go there had he not gone to the place that he went to. That's right. also what's really important here, is that every arm affected the other, mm -hmm. um, you know, acting as a two-way street. It's not just, you know, and that's how, yeah. how we didn't do any you know, singles where it's just one person's coverage. And in order for everyone to get to a place where we could feel the heartbreak and the fear and the pain of this moment, everywhere that he had to go to motivate that in us is just as important. Yeah. Well said. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you guys Thank so you. much. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.